Let the Rock tell you a little story about pie. Several years ago, I posted a video about how the perfectly preserved pie was not a joke and you could actually get one out of those porta diners. While the cake may be a lie, the pie is no lie. Now that video went viral and is now far and away one of my most popular videos with over 1.4 million views as of the posting of this video. In the comments, I pinned a comment that said I was going to make a sequel video with some fun facts about the PP pie. And yes, I might call it the PP pie in this video. PP. PP. Anyway, that was five years ago. Why did it take me so long to make this sequel? Because I'm a dumbass. No, but seriously, I always get around to the videos I promise. It just takes me a while sometimes. So, to make up for lost time, strap in your bib, I guess, and see if you want some more pie. <laughs> I love some pie. So in the first video, people had a lot of questions in the comment section. I compiled some of the most commonly asked questions into this video. So let's start it off with question number one. Can't you just break the Porta Diner open with like cannonballs or something? Well, as you can see, the cannonballs are just bouncing off the glass as if it's not really glass at all. It's like some kind of super plexiglass. Now, is that even possible? Actually, yes. <laughs> plexiglass has been around for decades, but plexiglass is made of acrylic. There's an even stronger see-through plastic out there now called polycarbonate. It's a thermoplastic polymer that is actually much stronger than acrylic. It's even used for things like cockpit windows for jet fighters. Now, we know how advanced technology is in the Fallout universe with things like plasma rifles and sentient robots and stuff. So it's not hard to imagine a polymer that's even stronger than polycarbonate. You know, maybe something with carbon nanotubes or something. But what about a mini nuke? Well, let's test it out. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's Nope, the only way to get the pie is to play the game. I want to play the game. Question number three, is it really based on luck? I got one and I only had four luck. In my first video, I set up proving a hypothesis that if you boosted your luck, it would make it even easier to get the pie. I was right, but what I didn't know and was later revealed to me was that programmers dug up an actual formula from the game code and posted it to the Fallout Wiki page. Here it is. So, your chance of getting the pie on each attempt is equal to your luck times 4 plus the number of attempts you've made so far divided by 20. So, luck does play a huge factor in the chances of getting the pie, with the number of times you try a close second. So now, when people comment on the original video that it's not based on luck, I just link them to the wiki page. Question number 4. I finally got the pie in the dugout in, but why did I get attacked when I took it? You know, the dugout in is the only place in the game with a porta diner that does that and it's silly but that particular pie will be marked red so it is possible to take it without getting attacked but you'll need to sneak or use a stealth boy to get it no other location in the commonwealth considers it stealing to take the pie Question number five, is it true that there's a broken porta diner that gives out a pie 100% of the time? Yes, it's true. It's located at the Nuka World Junkyard. And I don't think it's broken. I think it was actually made that way by the developers to give out a pie on the first attempt to ease the minds of all the frustrated vault dwellers out there who have never even gotten one. <laughs> Here's your consolation prize, folks. Do you like pie? I do like pie. Question number six. Have you hit that subscribe button and the like button yet? If not, what are you waiting for? Let's get the school zone to a million subs and I'll do a face reveal. Okay, back to the questions. Question number six. What about places in the game where it's not even in a porta diner? Yeah, they got really generous with the DLC. You can find one in an Edatronic in the Mechanist Slayer from the Automatron DLC. 
And you can find two sitting right on the counter in Cappy's Cafe in Nuka World. So definitely collect those if you have the DLCs. You see what I see? A bunch of pies! Real quick, before we continue with the next question, there is a sponsor of this video. Me! <laughs> My Patreon supporters and channel memberships continue to grow, and that is awesome. But I still get asked fairly often if I have a way for people to make a one-time tip or donation. You know, PayPal usually comes up as an example. Actually, I'm not a fan of PayPal because of their fees. But I recently joined the Bitcoin bandwagon, and I set up a crypto wallet. So for those tech-savvy viewers who want to throw a few Satoshis my way, or even a whole Bitcoin, <laughs> I couldn't be happier about that. My wallet address is down in the description below. And if you want a QR code to scan, just head over to the support page on my website. Also links down below and I should have it posted there for you. I was thinking of some other single tip sites like Venmo or Coffee, but I think this is actually a super easy way to send a tip if you like the video or you want to see me go full time with this because there are no country restrictions. You know, Bitcoin is global and you don't have to sign up for a new account if you're already using Bitcoin. So any coins in the hat would be most appreciated. Okay, let's get back to it. Question number seven, do the pies in the Porta Diner respawn after being taken? Well, let's go see for ourselves. So here is the location where I made the original pie video behind the savings and loan building where the US Constitution once stood. And I do not see a new pie in the Porta Diner. It's literally been years both in and out of game since I took that one. So the game must code your save file that you've taken a pie from a particular location so it doesn't reappear. That means they're collector's items, folks, which uh, leads to our next question. What good is the pie? It only gives you 30 hit points back. Yeah, if you eat it, but why would you eat it? That's like eating a piece of fine art, you know? I'm sure canvas fibers have calories, but it's all in the value of the item. So what do I do with the PP pies that I collect? Well, I use them to decorate my settlements. You know, put them in a bakery or on a dinner table as a dessert. You know, you put in all that work to get them, why waste them on a few HP? And while it might give you a few HP, would you even eat a 200 plus year old pie in real life anyway? <laughs> Which leads to a couple of final interesting questions. Number nine, there's other moldy food in the Porta Diners. So how could that pie possibly have survived? Yeah, it's totally unlikely. But the answer is in the name, preserved. So what exactly are preservatives? Well, preservatives are chemicals which impede the growth of microbes and mold. Uh, radiation is actually one way to kill off microbes that live in the food to begin with. That's right, folks. Your food is regularly irradiated by companies to kill off bacteria and other microorganisms. <laughs> You've collected many rads over your lifetime. <laughs> but since the pie doesn't give you any rads like some other items do in the game, we can assume it's chemically preserved. So bacteria and mold hate acids. So do we as humans, you know, if they're really strong acids like hydrochloric acid and everything. But we actually eat, you know, mild acids on a daily basis. So certain acids are often added to food items like benzoic acid, sorbic acid, preopionic acid, and ascorbic acid. Uh, but there's another element work here, sugar. Sugar is a natural preservative. That's why sugar and honey never go bad. They can literally last thousands of years. So if the PB pie contained a lot of sugar, as well as some cocktail of chemical preservatives, it could last forever. I mean, I just watched an episode of Pawn Stars the other day, and someone brought in a sealed McDonald's cookie from the 1970s, and it was actually not rotten, and the Pawn Star guys even ate it at the end of the episode. What was in that cookie? Well, lots of sugar and preservatives. But the final question has been bugging all of us since that first video. What kind of pie could it really be since it actually looks more like cheesecake? It's true, it does look like cherry cheesecake. So then that begs the question, are there any white pies? You know, do any white pies actually exist? These are whites only pies. Ma'am, okay, now we, we want some pie, okay? okay? We are hungry, okay? We want Billy. <laughs> Actually, there are a few different kinds of white pies, so we'll narrow them down to the most likely candidate for the perfectly preserved pie. For starters, there's potato pie, but I'm gonna give that a hard no. You know, potato pie wouldn't come with a fruity topping like that. 
Then there's meringue pie. I'd give that one a maybe as well as custard pie. They're both white, but they're also kind of frothy. But there is one final kind of pie called white pie, or sometimes it's called white Christmas pie. And I think this is the most likely candidate. It usually contains ingredients like milk, eggs, plain gelatin, cake flour, cream of tartar, and vanilla or almond extract, and of course, lots of sugar. And it's usually topped with like a strawberry sauce. Now, since the developers didn't name this item the perfectly preserved cake, or just, you know, didn't design it to look like an apple pie, or even more appropriately, a Boston cream pie, which they totally should have, BT dubs, then I'm gonna make an educated guess that the perfectly preserved pie is white Christmas pie with strawberry sauce. Ah! What kind of pie is this? Peter, it's making me watch. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm going with. Well, that about wraps up this video, folks. All this talk of pie has got me hankering for some pie. So hit that join button or throw me a tip over on Patreon so I can go buy me a slice. <laughs> Man, my pie, bro. Oh, I love pie. I love you and pie. If not, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll be back soon with another build video. Cheers, and watch out for the flying pie. Yeah, that'll teach you.